Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lakaya, if you didn't already know that. And tonight, I'm going to be telling y'all a few scary stories because Halloween. Um, okay. So I have my Taco Bell right here to comfort me and I have my laptop here. I'm gonna take it off so I can tell y'all some scary stories. Now when it comes to scary stories, I don't get too scared easily unless it's like a jump scare or something like that. Like I hate jump scares whatsoever. Like I'm never going into like a haunted house or anything because like I just can't do it. But when it comes to telling stories and just, you know, even scary movies, like it just, it comes to a point where I would be scared. Um, when I was younger, it was really, really bad. I had an amazing imagination and every little thing was like blown out of proportion. It was really bad. It's top, oh, it's 12 terrifying ghost stories you shouldn't read alone like so you're not supposed to read them alone but you know here i am so if something happens y'all know why so i'm gonna just see some comfort food and let's get into that a couple of months ago my friend's cousin a single mother bought a new cell phone after a long day of work she came home placed her phone on the counter and went and went to watch tv her son came to her and asked if he could play with her new phone she told him not to call anyone or mess with text messages, and he agreed. At around 11.20, she was drowsy, so she decided to tuck her son in and go to bed. She walked in his, in his room and saw that he wasn't there. Then she ran over to her room to find him sleeping on her bed with the phone in his hand. Relieved, she picked up her phone back up from, her, from his hand to inspect it. Browsing through, she noticed only minor changes such as a new background, band, etc and then she opened up her saved pictures. She began deleting the pictures he had taken only until only one new picture remained. When she first saw it, she was in disbelief. It was her son sleeping on her bed, but the picture wasn't taken by someone else above him. And it, it showed the only half of an elderly woman's face. So, um, I mean, that story to me, yeah, it's pretty creepy, but then again, at least she didn't kill him. I, I say y'all have like a friendly ghost on y'all's hand. Okay, so this next story is called The Rocking Horse. Now, before we get into this, um, I remember when I was younger, there's this video where it's a video of this rocking chair. It's It went like so viral, and what it was, it was like rocking back and forth all by itself and all that. And then a few minutes later, like a uh, scary shadow like came and like popped up on the screen. I'm like, oh my gosh. I still remember that. Like it was so horrible. I hate stuff like that. But anyways, one night when I was maybe 12 or 10, I had trouble falling asleep. My bedroom, oh, my bedroom was the entire top floor of our house with my bed in such in such being on the left side in storage closets and play area being on the right. I'm such a tongue twister. I was lying in bed when I heard a noise from the other side of the room and seeing a rocking horse begin to rock. It was sitting just outside one of the storage closet doors. I proceeded to rock its halfway across the room and stopped dead until under the ceiling light. At this point, I was freaking out and just buried my head under my pillows and never peeked out again until morning. It was all confirmed not to, to not to not be a dream as the rocking horse was still in the middle of my room when I woke up. See, at that point, I would have grabbed the bat and like started smashing it to pieces, but that's just me. Furthermore, I got a stern reprimand from my parents for being up out of bed playing with my toys well past my bedtime. Their bedroom was directly below the storage closet slash play area and had heard the creaking of the rocking horse shuffling across the room. Wow, so they blamed him for the rocking horse. And he was like, nah, bro, it moved on its own. 
So this could either be a two-way story. It could probably be him actually playing with the horse and he just lied and said it was a ghost. Kids these days be lying. This story is called The Grandfather. My grandfather told me this story about how one time he was sitting in a chair in front of the, of the house when he heard his wife repeatedly calling him from inside the house. The thing is, my grandmother passed away a few years before that. That's so sweet. Anyways. But he told me that the voice was so pressing that he actually got up to look inside the house. And as soon as he got inside, he heard a loud crash behind him and turned around to see that the chair he has been sitting in moments ago had been crushed by a cast iron gutter that fell on it. If he hadn't come inside the house, he would have probably been seriously injured. I don't know if it's paranormal or not, but every time I think about it, it sends me chills down my spine. Maybe the grandma was trying to tell you something, Grandpa, because, like, ghosts or spirits be doing that. They really be trying to warn you sometimes, especially if it's family. It's called the photograph. My friend took this picture of his cousin in their new house. He says it was just the two of them there, but that's not what it looks like. That's it. I'm gonna stop the video there. Um, I'm hungry. I barely eaten my burrito. But yeah, like I said, it takes a lot, or not really a lot, to like scare me. Like it, an extent, I could be scared. Halloween really is like, um, like my fourth favorite holiday. So, I mean, it should. Like I said, literally the only thing that scares me is jump scares. So that's it yeah so with that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and comment down below of what you are afraid of or what scares you and also type down some scary stories that you know you've heard or you've seen yourself and also subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow